Hello, welcome back to Movies with Mom. This is Momtober, where we watch not scary, scary movies. Tonight I will be watching Young Frankenstein with Gene Wilder. I know nothing about it. I'm assuming it has to do with Frankenstein or a younger version of Frankenstein. I know it's a comedy. It's supposed to be hilarious. We are trying to get as many of these out as we can, but with five kids, it's like a once a week thing. So thank you for sticking with us and I hope you enjoy watching Young Frankenstein with me. Cloris Leachman's in this? <laughs> oh, such a nice fireplace. Is that a coffin? Baron von Frankenstein. Ah! Well, there's still an eyeball. Oh. The upper portion of the stem of the brain can be seen. I have one question, Dr. Frankenstein. That's Frankenstein. But aren't you the grandson of the famous Dr. Victor Frankenstein, who went into graveyards? But I'd rather be remembered for my own small contributions to science. Why don't we proceed? <laughs> Would you raise your left knee, please? Reflex movements are those which are made independently and the central nervous system. I feel like I'm in science like class. Yellow son of a <gasps> we are <laughs> these impulses. Neither do we intend which can be done with any ordinary metal clamp for, oh, say, five or six seconds. Why, you mother grabbing. As you can see, <laughs> in spite of our mechanical. Oh, <laughs> Give him an extra dollar. An extra one. Yes, sir. More than dollar. common injury to the nerve root is always serious. Are there any last questions before we leave? Dr. Frank... Frankenstein. Yeah. Wasn't that the whole basis of your grandfather's work, sir? My grandfather was a very sick man. I am a scientist, not a philosopher. You have more chance of reanimating this scalpel. My grandfather's work was doo-doo. <laughs> The only thing that concerns me is the preservation of life! Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh. Well. Dr. Frankenstein, I have traveled 5,000 miles to bring you the will of your great-grandfather. Oh, my sweet darling. Oh, my dearest love. So will I. Not on the lips. What? I'm going to that party at Nana and Nikki's later. I, I guess this is it. Freddie, darling. My sweet love. The hair, the hair. Just bed. <laughs> Sorry. <The> hair. Sorry. <laughs> you like old fashioned? I can ready? relate. I prefer old fashioned. Horror boys! <laughs> There's that horrid man again. Ah, oh, the nails! Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Do you also say Froderick? No. <laughs> Frederick? <laughs> well, why isn't it Froderick Frankenstein? You must be Igor. No, it's pronounced Igor. <laughs> but they told me it was Igor. My grandfather used to work for your grandfather. I'm sure we'll get along splendidly. Oh! <laughs> uh, I don't mean to embarrass you, but I'm a rather brilliant surgeon. 
Perhaps I could help you with that hump. What hump? <laughs> Let's go. Allow me, master. Oh, thanks very much. Walk this way. This way. <laughs> Frederick Frankenstein. Oof. What was that? Oh, that will be Inga. Would you like to have a roll in the hay? It's fun. Roll, roll, roll in the hay. Werewolf. Werewolf. There. What? <laughs> there, wolf. There, castle. Why are you talking that way? I thought you wanted to. No, I don't want to. <laughs> well, home. What knockers! Oh, <laughs> thank you, Doctor. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, uh... I am Frau Blucher. You are Cloris Leachman. This is my assistant, Inga. May I present Frau Blucher? Igor, uh, would you bring the bags as soon as you're after you, Frau Blucher? <laughs> Blucher! Follow me, please. Stay close to the candles. The staircase can be treacherous. It was your grandfather Victor's room. An uncanny resemblance. And where is my grandfather's private library? This is the only library I know of, Dr. Frankenstein. 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 Well. Would the doctor care for a brandy before retiring? No. Some warm milk, perhaps. Ovaltine. Good night. Good night. Good night, darling. Good night, Herr Doctor. Good night, Frau Blucher. Horse winning? Yeah. <laughs> I am not a Frankenstein. I don't believe in fate. I'll say it. Destiny! No escaping! That's for me! Destiny! Destiny! Wake up! What is it? What's that strange music? I have no idea. You were right. It's coming from behind this wall. It seems louder over here. <laughs> Put the candle back. Don't put the candle back. Shove against the other side of the bookcase. Good. Put the candle back! Oh, look, Doctor. A passageway. Well, that's unfortunate. But there's no more violin. <laughs> Freshly so, dead. How did you get here? Call it a hunch. There must have been someone else down here. It might be dangerous. You go first. <laughs> Two nasty looking switches over here. Damn your eyes! Too late. Oh, I get it. That took me a minute. What a filthy mess. I don't know. A little paint, a few flowers. 
Well, it seems as if our mysterious violinist has disappeared. <gasps> Doctor, look. This explains the music. What is this place? Music room? <laughs> but there's nothing here. This is my grandfather's private library. I feel it. I alone succeeded in discovering the secret of bestowing life upon lifeless. It can't work! I don't know what we're yelling about. I don't know what we're yelling about! I resolved, therefore, to make the creature of a gigantic stature. His feet, his hands, his organs would all have to be increased in size. Exactly. He would have an enormous Schwanstucker. <laughs> that goes without saying. <laughs> Oof. He's going to be very popular. <laughs> what we're aiming for is a being approximate something like this. Crude, yes. Primitive, yes. Perhaps even grotesque. Yet something inexplicable tells me this might be our man. Well, we found the body. All right, all right. He looks like Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> How'd they get what a under it? Filthy job. Could be worse. How? Could be raining. Need a hand? Uh, no thanks. Have one. But I've never seen your face before. Can you account for yourself? Yes, I am Dr. Frederick Frankenstein. Pleased to meet you. How very nice to meet you. Good night, Constable. <laughs> oh, what an awesome sight. All we need now is an equally magnificent brain. You know what to do. I have a pretty good idea. Good man. Didn't you used to have that on the other side? What? Oh, never mind. <laughs> brain depository. After 5 p.m. slip brains through slot and door. Oh my gosh. Do not use this brain. Abnormal. How abnormal? He is hideous. He's beautiful. Are you ready? What's the hurry? There's the possibility of electrocution. Do you understand? I understand. I understand. Why are you shouting? <laughs> Did you... Can you imagine the brain of Hans Delbruck in this body? Are you ready? Yes, Doctor. Elevate me. Now? Right here? <laughs> yes, yes. Raise the platform. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Elevate me. Our greatest dread has always been the knowledge of our own mortality. Tonight, we shall ascend. When I give the word, throw the first switch. Get ready. Go! Throw the third switch! Not the third switch. Oh my. Life! Life! We're yelling again. He's smoking.
nothing. If science teaches us anything, it teaches us to accept our failures with quiet dignity. Son of a I'll get you for this! I don't want to live! Well, that's dramatic. Quiet dignity and grace. He's a Frankenstein! And they're all alike! We haven't heard from the one man most qualified to judge the situation fairly. There is little chance of stopping it. Short of bloodshed. We had better confirm the fact. Confirm. Frankenstein. Following in his grandfather's footsteps. What? Footsteps. Footsteps. Oh, I think. But look, you haven't even touched your food. There. I'll never forget my old dad. The things he'd say to me. What did he say? What the hell are you doing in the bathroom day and night? I moved. Mm. Oh, do you like it? I'm not partial to desserts myself, but this. You just made a yummy sound, so I thought you liked the dessert. <laughs> a yummy sound. I didn't sound. make a yummy sound, I just asked you what it is. Well, now look here, if it wasn't you, when it wasn't you. The monster's awake. <laughs> alive. It's alive! Hello there. Is the sedative ready? Yes, Doctor. What's he gonna do? Sit up. Stand. He looks a little bit like the dad in Everybody Loves Raymond. Frank, I think is his name. Now. Oh, doctor, I'm frightened. Don't worry. Good. Quick, oh. <laughs> give him the what? Give him the what? Three syllables. First syllable <laughs> sounds like. Said I give. Would you excuse me for one minute, dear? Oh, of course, Doctor. Sit down, won't you? Thank you. <laughs> that brain that you gave me, was it Hans Delbrooks? No. Ah. Good. Would you mind <laughs> telling me whose brain? Abby, someone. Abby someone. Abby normal. <laughs> Abby normal. <laughs> Are you saying that I put an abnormal brain into a seven and a half foot long <laughs> gorilla? Quick, get him up. What? Three syllables, yes. Yeah. I wonder who that could be at this hour. Where are you going? To wash up. I've got to look normal. We've all of us got to behave normally. Monsters! Rosem, here's a very real sink. Especially one. It is not superstition that worries me here, Doctor, but genes and chromosomes. Rubbish! Mm, well, you might say. Transylvania! <laughs> you are a... Mmm. Mm. Very well. Why are the tires all flat? Oh. From the darts. Uh-oh. Victor! We have done it! I'm 
regards to help you. Thank heavens that's over with. Frau Blucher. <laughs> he is as gentle as a lamb. <laughs> then for the love of God, he has a rotten brain. Ixnay on the Otten Ray. I know what he likes. <laughs> That music. Yes! It's in your blood. You played that music in the middle of the night. Yes! To get us into the laboratory. Yes! Say it! He was my boyfriend! <laughs> There's Helga. Now throw a kiss and say bye bye. Mm. What shall we throw in now? You didn't look upstairs. Sit down. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> a visitor is all I ask. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Oh, no, 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 don't speak. Don't speak. Don't say a word. Oh, you must have been the tallest one in your class. What is your name? Mm. I didn't get that. I didn't realize you were mute. <laughs> but your hand is frozen, my child. How does a nice bowl of soup sound to you, huh? Mm. <laughs> I know what it means to, to be cold and hungry. Yes. And, and how much it means to have a little kindness from a stranger. How long I've waited for the pleasure of another human being. Sometimes in our preoccupation <laughs> with worldly matters, <laughs> the simple pleasures <laughs> are the basis for... Tr <laughs> good, good. <laughs> yes, sir. A toast. Long friendship. <laughs> How hungry you must have been. Cigars. Oh. Mm. Oh, candle. Mm. No. Mm. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. Mm. That's his thumb. <laughs> I was going to make espresso. <laughs> Is that Frankenstein? No! I'm going in there. Love is the only thing that can save this poor creature. No matter what you hear in there, no matter how cruelly I beg you, do not open this door or you will undo everything I've worked. Nice working with you. Let me out of here. Get me the hell out of here. <laughs> What's the matter with you people? I was joking! Mm. Mommy! Lying! Hello, handsome! Look at that boyish face. Do you want to talk about physical strength? Do you want to talk about the Olympian ideal? You are a god! You are... Good. <laughs> <laughs> and I want the world to know we love him. <laughs> oh. You and I to make the greatest single contribution to science. Dr. Frankenstein. My name is Frankenstein. <laughs> The creature in a startling new experiment in is it reanimation? I missed it. 
Mir präsent you Dr. Baron Friedrich von Frankenstein. Oh. My fellow scientists, I began an experiment in the reanimation of dead tissue. <laughs> For your intellectual and philosophical pleasure, the creature. Please, remain in your seats, I beg you. A neurological demonstration of the primary cerebellar functions. Walk, heal, it's, to Is go. it ending the way it began? Backwards! <laughs> he keeps him a treat. May I now present a cultured, sophisticated man about town. Oh, gosh. If you're blue and you don't know where Shun sits, in the relief! Oh, gosh. Different types who wear a day coat, pants with perfect fit, in the relief! <laughs> Dressed up like a mill, trying mighty hard to look like Gary Cooper. I tell you. Five, six, seven, eight. What? Please, I beg you. What's with that reaction? Don't humiliate him. Understand me? I will not let you destroy my work. As your creator, I command you to come back. I don't understand. The audience started throwing things at him because a light bulb popped and it freaked him out. But they just saw him dancing and singing and a bit excessive. I feel so terrible. There's only one answer. If I could find a way to equalize the imbalance in his cerebral spinal fluid. Mm. So there was some way I could help to mm. Mm. give you a little peace. You see, your fiancé will be arriving in a second. What? Elizabeth here tonight? I kind of forgot about her. Surprise. Surprise. Love me? Love you. Let's turn in. Darling! It's been... I'll just pay the driver. <gasps> Darling! What? Love me? Well... Well... Let's turn in. I'd like you to meet my assistants, Inga and Igor. How do you do? Uh, this is my financier, Elizabeth. Oh, I'm so happy to meet financier. you at last. Financier. Uh, financier. Excuse me. We have intellectual discussions, aren't we? As a matter of fact, we were just having one as you were driving uh, on. I, uh, <laughs> you give me a hand with the bags. Certainly. You take the blonde and I'll take the one in the table. <laughs> oh, gosh. Stop that. I'm talking about the luggage. It's going to be a long night. If you need any help with the girls, please don't hesitate. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh oh. What's the matter? Mm. You're afraid of this little fire? Little boys ain't supposed to play with fire. <laughs> well, I guess he shouldn't have played with fire. All the townspeople with their torches. Oh, not going in the same place, huh? Would you want me like this now? So soon before our wedding? Yes! Whoa! <laughs> or, now give me a kiss and say goodnight. No tongues. That is not how to brush hair. Oh. Uh oh. Monster, what are you doing with Elizabeth? What happened 
do her hair? How much do you want to let me go? My father is very rich. You can have the entire world at your fingertips. Listen. Mm. Speak, speak. Why don't you speak? This is so weird. Penny for your thoughts. Mm. <laughs> You're incorrigible. Mm. You little zipper neck. Mm. Zipper neck. What is it? Is it that music? Mm. You're going. You better keep your mouth shut. Oh, I think I love him. <laughs> Gosh. Oh. Um. Are you sure you want to go through with this? It's the only thing that can save him now. Switching off! So what is he doing? Try! Try! Jet! What time is it? Almost time. I said, put that man down! Oh, what are these people about? I am the monster! As long as I can remember, people have hated me. I'm 100% certain that's Frank in From Everybody love Loves Raymond. Attention, idiots! I would instead cause fear! <sighs> he used his own body as a guinea pig to give me a calmer brain. Sophisticated way yeah. of expressing myself. May I be the first to offer you my hand in friendship? <laughs> Let us all go to my house for a little sponge cake or a little wine. And and to the lumber yard! <laughs> to the lumber yard. Dee dum da dum. Dee dum da da dum. Hold on to your head. I'm holding on to it, darling. Just a few more seconds. La -di -da -da, da -di -da -da. What is happening? Uh, honey. Mm hmm Honey, did you see? I put a special hamper in the... Something I've always wanted to ask you about that operation. The monster got part of your wonderful brain. But what did you ever get from him? Uh... Oh, oh, I don't believe. Oh, the sweet mystery of life. At last I fall. So he had a penis transplant. Am I allowed to say that? Is that the implication there? That was funny and stupid all at the same time. And when I say stupid, I mean it in a fun, loving way. It was, it was fun. I liked the, I don't even know what you call that humor. It's not really slapstick. It's not a dry humor. It was fun. You know, honestly, I wish I sat and watched it with somebody because I feel like this is the type of film that when you watch it with other people, and then you can laugh with other people, but when you're watching it just alone, it doesn't feel quite as funny. It was basically the same thing as the Frankenstein story that we know, just with a little backstory. But it was like clear that he was just repeating history, you know, so it's the same story. <laughs> but it was fun. <laughs>